If you're into racing simulators, I found a good one for you called Project Cars on the Man Cave. Hey YouTube, Jerry here again. Just wanted to post yet another video because I've uh, had a lot of time today to just play around with my setup, so it's been really epic. Um, I found a little gem. Well, I was looking at links to subscribers and uh, just generally surfing YouTube. I found this game I'd never heard of before. It's called Project Cars. Um, you can search for it on Bing or Google, it'll come right up. And uh, it's a new racing game that some company's working on that just has like the most phenomenal graphics I've ever seen. I've been watching some of these videos on YouTube about it and I was like, man, this looks really phenomenal. Well, since it's under development, you can actually sign up to basically, you basically like donate to them a certain amount of money and then you become a part of the project so you can play the game. The minimum that you can give them is like 12 bucks. So you give them $12, anyways, you download this game and then you can play it. Well, to my surprise, it has a ton of cars in it. It's very accurate. The driving physics are amazing. Um, the graphics, I've never seen a game that's had graphics as good as this. It absolutely blew my mind. And everything from the sound to the cars is just phenomenal. So like, like here, let me give you a little demonstration here. So this is, the, this is the cockpit to one of the cars. There's no lag on the inputs. If the video is showing lag, I apologize. But there's no lag between the wheel and the game moving and my wheel moving. Um, the car even, you know, kind of wobbles back and forth when you're turning the wheel. All the controls in the cockpit you can read the text on. Uh, every single control seems to work. Uh, you can even alter your driving position in the car back and forth. Um, you can even look through the helmet. So if you want the driving experience of actually looking through a helmet, you can do that. Uh, me personally, not a big fan. Um, but the car models are incredibly accurate. The track's incredibly accurate. This is the first racing game I've ever played where the grass actually looks like grass and moves like grass. I mean, it, it, the graphics blow my mind. You might not be able to see the subtlety in this video because of the resolution on YouTube, but there's like heat coming off the motor and the exhaust of the car and there's like a ripple effect through everything. And, uh, and the way the asphalt looks, everything is just crystal, crystal sharp. Let me go ahead and turn up the volume a little bit and I'll, I'll do a lap just so you guys can see what it's like. Uh, my driving still sucks because I'm getting used to the cars, but for 12 bucks, um, this is a freaking steal. The game seems stable. It hasn't crashed on me once. Uh, there's a lot of tracks, a lot of cars. The more money you pay for the license, the more benefits you get. So if you pay a higher amount, you can actually like, you know, race online. You get more tracks and more cars. But even for 12 bucks, I think I got 10 or 12 cars. Some of them are really cool, like the Aerial Atom V8. And uh, uh, what else was it? The Zonda R was in there. Um, I mean, just phenomenal cars. And... <laughs> I mean, you can't you can't beat the price, and then when, I can't wait for the game to actually come out because this will probably be my new favorite. Let's turn up the volume a little bit so you guys can hear it. And the clutch and everything works right out of the box. Didn't have to didn't have to do anything. Let's see here, first gear. I'm on a go-kart track. The force feedback is amazing. Uh, just like Richard Burns Rally, it feels like a real car. You can even burn up and slip the clutch, you can blow the motor, you can damage the car in all kinds of unique ways.
Well, there you get the idea with one car on one track. Uh, I hope you guys can see just how phenomenal the graphics are, but you should definitely go try this out if you're into racing simulators. Um, let me go ahead and reset. I'll grab a different car and a different track and uh, do a couple combinations. Unfortunately, due to YouTube's policies on copyright and stuff, for some reason I can't show the in-game menus, but the menu system is fantastic. Uh, it was incredibly intuitive to set up, incredibly intuitive to get in-game. It was the, by far the easiest game I've ever set up a force feedback controller with. Um, took like, you know, 30 seconds and, and I was in and just racing. So let me go ahead and get in another car and we'll start out again. All right, now we're behind the wheel of a Gumpert Apollo S, which is one of my favorite cars in Forza 4. Um, the first thing you notice looking at the cockpit is the, the gauges and everything, the resolution and the textures on the gauges and everything are just phenomenal. I've never seen a game that's had this much interior detail on the car, and that's, in, that's including Gran Turismo 5. Um, yeah, I mean, they even have like a backup camera like down here on your dashboard on the Pioneer head unit. So I thought that that was, that was actually pretty clever. Go down here, see it a little bit better over on this side. But you can position yourself wherever you want, stationary to where you're driving. Uh, I personally like the external views a little more since I sit back. Like, uh, like that's a good one right there off the front. But driving from the inside is cool too. Well, let's turn the volume up and give it a try. Obviously wasn't paying attention. Um, let's try. Let's try that again here. Uh -oh. oh, I'm breaking my car here. <laughs> Got myself wedged. Oh God. Oh. Oh, now my hood's all jacked up. Oh well. There you have the Gumpert Apollo, which I obviously can't drive. All right, let's try one more car and one more track. All right, here we go. I thought this one would be fun. I picked an actual go-kart track this time with an actual go-kart. So you can actually drive carts in here. They have the 250cc and a couple of other ones that you can race that are all shifter carts. Um, it's actually a lot of fun to race the go-karts because I do some karting out at Pacific Raceways um, at PGP in Washington and it actually feels very very similar to driving those carts a lot faster because these are a lot faster carts but uh, the way the steering feels on them and how twitchy everything is it definitely feels real all right let's go ahead and turn a couple laps <laughs> Seeing the 
suspension move and everything is really cool too. You can actually see the grass coming up through the cart while you're driving. And in all the views you have camera control. spectators look good. So in a nutshell, if you're into racing games and you haven't heard of Project Cars, go look at it right now. And uh, you might even want to spend more money and get a better license than I did. My license just pretty much lets me race around on all their tracks with a bunch of their cars. But higher licenses, it looks like you get more involvement in the project, you get more builds. Um, the only bugs I've found so far seem really cosmetic. Like um, sometimes you'll crash into stuff and a part will pop off the car and then it'll come right back and stick on the car again. or the, the headlights will come undone and they'll just be flailing in the wind and they'll never break off the car. I found a couple little graphical flaws like that, but by and large from all the games I've played, I've never seen something that's had this good of graphics. So if you really like smooth, fast, clean, good looking graphics when you're playing uh, your race car game and that's a big part of your experience, then I definitely recommend Project Cars. Um, download it, play it, let me know what you think about it, leave your comments. Um, I also have other games, I have R Factor 2, I'll do a video on that a little bit later on. That's another game that's currently under development. Um, if you have other racing games that you play that are that, that you've never heard me mention, please comment about them, I'd love to try them out. I'm um, really getting big into the simulator stuff. Hopefully here in the next couple of weeks I'll have my gaming seat. I'm gonna post a video asking you guys which gaming seat you think I should get. Um, I've got a couple options in mind, but I'm being really indecisive about it. But my goal is to get a seat set up that I can permanently fix the wheel pedal shifter to, put a keyboard and mouse on it, and put caster wheels on it at some point, and just be able to just scoot it up to the desk, plug in a power cable, plug in one USB, and have the whole thing ready to go. So that's my goal, so keep that in mind when you see the next video. Anyways, keep watching my videos, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this one. Project Cars. Take it easy.